Today we're going to talk about the answers that Shanahan has off of his run game that are little wrinkles that create problems for defenses. So if you go back and look at the series before, we've talked about the wide zone, we've talked about the inside zone, we've talked about the boot game that he does, um, and we've even talked about some of the other things that he does off of his offense. So something really simple, a simple adjustment he makes, especially when it comes to his uh, counterplay or a version of his counterplay, which takes the guard and usually the fullback into a counterplay, is he runs something um, to set it up um, later off down the road. So what we're going to discuss right now is I'm going to show you how he runs his simple concept of um, it's more or less a counter with the guard leading and the fullback coming through. A lot of guys call it gaff, hag, whatever you want to call it. But the reality of it is all there are is they're just going to run basically counter with the guard pulling, kicking that, kicking that backer. Okay, the the jet motion here is going to hold that corner right there and this fullback is going to lead through on the first backer inside the box and they're going to run good old-fashioned counter slash power um, and so here's what we're going to do you know as they go through the process you can see you get nice down blocks right here you get a good double team on the three all the way up to the middle backer and they get up on and they get up on their guys where they need to be notice how the defense that notice how the defensive end fe he feathers outside to keep contained for the jet which is an easy kick block for the for the guard which doesn't allow him to actually drive down and cut that kid off but what it does do is it does create a nice alley for the fullback to get on the, on the linebacker outside and you get a nice little four or five yard gain let's watch from the end zone so you can get a real good feel for the double team. So remember, wide zone weak is, is Shanahan's thing, but he also likes to run power to the strong side or counter to the strong side. So what he's going to do right here is, so he wants to do this so he can get a nice little double team. And he's going to get a double team on the guard and tackle to the middle backer. He's going to get a down block on the center. He's going to get a kick by the guard on the defensive end. The tackle is going to zone float wheel, and the fullback's going to lead through on that first backer. Remember, the rocket motion is going to take care of that corner. That safety's going to stay high and one high. Because remember, as much as they run the ball, they usually get a lot of one high sets, especially in the run condensed formations with the fullback and tight end in the set. So, as you can see going through it, it's simple. It's a good combo block of the 60-68, well, right tackle, right guard working together the middle backer. You've got the, you have the, you know, to the backer, you have the middle backer right here getting taken care of. You get the middle backer getting taken care of by the tight end. You have the guard kicking at the end, and you have the, and you have the, um, the backside fullback coming through and kicking through. And it's a simple play, guys. I mean, this is a very con very common gap scheme play. Now, I remember talking about Shanahan and what he runs. He's mainly a zone guy, but he does run some he does run some gap scheme when it calls for it. He's a big fan of trap every once in a while. He runs some counter and some power, just like anybody else that you know in the NFL. He doesn't lean on it. It's not his bread and butter, but he does it as a nice little wrinkle. So let's talk about something he does off of this. In the same game, he gets into it. And I want to show you how this works. <clears throat> what he does get himself into okay is he runs similar formations notice we're just in a tight end we're in a tight end tight set you're in two a twins with a fullback this is almost the exact same set as you just saw previously against the same football team with the same exact motion and all he's going to do is do the exact same thing he's going to set up what looks like counter he's going to have a double double team he's going to have the guard the tight end look like he's going to the middle backer you got the center down blocking his own flow wheel by the by the backside tackle and the fullback is going to come through and he's gonna he's going to lead up after the guard kicks to the end and he's gonna wrap himself up the only difference on this play is what really is what they're trying to set up is if you go back and look at the previous play the backside actually overflows this thing and they over pursue the they over pursue the power or the counter play and then you get the tight end who gets a nice down block he but he delays one one thousand two one thousand and then he gets into the flat right now this is the old wide delay. Um, a lot of teams run that these days. Um, you see the New England Patriots run it. But Shanahan runs this play. Um, sometimes he runs it once a game, sometimes once every other game. But he only does this play out of the power or that counter formation of the full play out of this, this nubs of the closed dust split twin set. So he's got two backs. He's got a, a closed formation to one side, and he's got twins to the other because he's going to force this corner to play back down into the box 
and he's going to send a motion guy over. Again, so you're going to get this tight end. He's going to act like he's going to block down. He's going to count to two. He's going to release out into the flat. This is a great goal line play, third and short play. He uses it a lot when he needs, when he sees an over, when over pursuit by the backside of the defense. I'll let you watch from the backside in full speed. You watch it 1,000, 2, 1,000. Notice how the backside safety, who over rotated because he was looking for the cutback on, on the counter. He over rotated. Nobody had paid attention. The only real guy that could probably make a play on this play is his eyes are in the backfield. That's the free safety sitting about 15 yards deep. And then you have the tight end running free off the, off the back end right here with no other concept in the route. They call the play back due to the blocking early on the play, but for the most part, the play is a phenomenal play. So going back to what they ran uh, previously, they ran this play against Arizona Cardinals, and what they got into was, which was actually a really interesting scheme, that he actually scores on this one. So it's a little different this time because of the way they, the way these guys, the way the Arizona Cardinals line up, and the fact that he knew that to get, he was going to get too high, so he was going to have to have a squeeze reduction set to one side. He's going to have to, he's going to have to have a receiver, um, and basically they end up being the exact same formation. He doesn't rotate. The, Shanahan doesn't like to put himself in a situation where he has to motion too many times unless he gets an advantage. So there was no difference. If the if he would have brought that if he would have brought that receiver over, the Z receiver over here, and he would have motioned him across, it wouldn't have mattered because they're not going to over rotate. They're not one high. They're going to stay in what they stay in, and they're going to be a blitz friendly team. So what he's going to get into is he's going to run the exact same play. He's going to run power or counter to the strong side. Everything is exactly the same you just saw. Tight end's going to block down, and now you have a nice play. So, as you can see, him leak out to the back, uh, the backfield right there. Let's ex let's show you how the how they block this thing, so that you can really get a feel for what the receiver is doing down here at the bottom. So, the rule for the receiver is you're going to take the first threat that's going to be able to sneak up on it. Notice how he push cracks to the safety because he knows that what they're doing is they're rotating into a cover three. It's easy, guys. They're going to get one high. At San Francisco 49ers get one high all the time because of how much they truly run the ball. They want to bring another safety into the box to have an alley fit right now. So as you can see, they're going to roll one safety down. He's going to beat the weak side safety. They're going to roll him down. The quarter, but the receiver knows I got to push crack that kid because he's the only one that can make a play. The reality of it was he didn't need to block any of them. And so you get the nice leak at the backfield. And it's actually a really nice play, and it sets itself up because of the way people run, the way the guys run, uh, they run this play, they zone flow with the backside. They're basically passing the backside anyways, which allows for a backside protection for the quarterback to be able to set this ball up and throw it. What I find interesting off of this is noticing that he reverses out of this play. His eyes are down. Notice that he has the ball tucked away. Notice that he has full extension of the hand. Notice that he's got his, his, head, his head looks and follows the running back, and then he sets up with the ball still tucked in his belly. Garoppolo does a phenomenal job of that. So it's the small things that like happen that happen inside of the 49ers offense like this that a lot of people overlook and they don't truly understand that this is really what makes it so great is that he has the same plays and he makes them look the same th same way, but then he has a different result by having a counter to what the defense can give to him. So it goes back to you know, do you have a collection of plays or do you have a scheme and a system and have an answer for what the defense gives to you? I always find it interesting when people talk about running different plays, but the reality of it is Kyle Shanahan does a great job of making people understand that it's not about the plays that you have. It's about the answers you have inside your system. Guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for everything. Please subscribe. If you like the, like the video, if you have any questions, leave comments. Uh, always an open book. Uh, we'll come back with some more videos of these coming up here soon and expect the Ravens breakdown here in the next couple of days. I appreciate you guys. Thanks.